All right, what's going on everyone? Tonight we have the 9060 XT. We're gonna be pairing it with a 9600X for a mid-range build experience tonight. And we've got Dying Light 2. We're gonna be checking it out at 1080p. Uh, and then we're gonna be jumping over to 2K and looking at all the different ray tracing options as well. So right here at 160 FPS, this is low preset with no upscaling. And we do pretty well even up through ray tracing uh, on this title. So I'm just gonna run through it real quick. Uh, make sure that it's not doing any automatic stuff here. It likes to move stuff around on you. So without all that in the way, let's just keep on going. That drops us down to about 147 FPS here. Just go look, look out this way. I can't really leave this area yet because it'll uh, kind of like freak out and abort the mission, but we're gonna try our best to run around in this area and get some uh, good views of uh, close-up stuff, far away stuff, that kind of thing. So right here about 174 FPS. So again, everything looks pretty good. Again, this, uh, this card is uh, really, this is a cakewalk for this card, uh, especially with no ray tracing enabled. So we're just gonna jump over and see what we can expect with high quality, and then we'll jump over into the ray tracing portion of 1080p. Uh, and it does require a restart, so I'll go ahead and cut all that out when I get to that point. But uh, right here at 124 FPS on high, definitely got some better fidelity. Uh, but you know, again, 1080p is uh, pretty easy for most cars, most modern cars at least. So let's just go ahead and jump over and enable some ray tracing. So we're just gonna click that first setting, gonna go ahead and restart and I'll be right back. All right, so here we are back. We've got ray tracing enabled and we do not have any sort of uh, upscaling enabled at all right now. And we're still well over 100 FPS. We're uh, touching down into the 90s here and there, but for the most part, we're staying above 100. Uh, so this is a really good experience. So really no need to upscale at 1080p. Uh, we're gonna check out that next level of ray tracing to see if we might need to do some upscaling at that point. But right now 1080p is looking to be just a really, really good resolution for this setup especially on this title, it does tend to run pretty well. So let's jump over and do that just now. So we're gonna go here. I'm gonna keep it on no upscaling, see how bad it is. It likes to automatically do stuff. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. Jeez, all these games with the with the automatic stuff. I need to make sure that actually applied. It didn't, oh, jeez, hang on. Bear with me, there we go. All right, so high quality ray tracing, 1080p, uh, no upscaling. V-Sync is of course off. We don't want it to lock our frames. All right, so looking like with ray tracing on the highest setting with no upscaling whatsoever, we are able to at least in most of the time, most of the time be around 60 FPS. Uh, now ignore any sort of frame tearing you're seeing right now. That is um, just a result of, you know, me running the title with no, um, no V-Sync on. And of course, YouTube runs at 50 or at 60 FPS no matter what. So unless 